Welcome back to another video fam, it's your boy MJ. We are back with another video with another bat 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 banger. Like everybody says, banger. Video ends up being trash ass AF. But anyways, yeah man, I don't know if you saw the first clip. We are on a uh, Freightliner, the older models. And this one, guess what? It's stick shit, my boy. My boy, man, it feels so good driving a stick shift. It's crazy, my boy. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna miss it, but man, it feels good, man. No lag, no nothing. On the automatics, every time you step on the gas, you just don't know when it's gonna pick up, man. You think it's gonna pick up, and nope. Your body moves thinking that it's gonna pull, but it doesn't, so you stay stuck, and it's like, what the hell, man? You know? And the stick shift, man. And once you put it on gear, you push the gas, you're on, you're moving instantly. As soon as that gear's in, there's no lag at all. But yeah, man, right now we are headed to, we're headed to Cardina, to Gardena. We are going to um, Alco Designs. So, Alco Designs. So yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's get it. Fast forward this beat. Alright guys, I honestly thought that I hit record when I pulled up to this pickup, which is the second one, but it turns out that I didn't. Because the way I record on this one is I hold the record button when it's off for a second or two, and it will automatically start recording. And when I click it again, it'll power off automatically instead of turning it on and then hitting record, and then to pause it or to stop it, you hit record again to stop it and then turn it off. It's like to avoid all those steps, I just hold the record button, it'll automatically turn on and record instantly and honestly that's what i thought i did and no i did not record this one big mistake so i did double check so it is recording right now and we are on to our third pickup we're gonna make a left and let's go other than that we good we gucci we golden stick shift my boy stick shift it's the only way to go man beautiful best thing ever if you guys are planning on getting your cdl please please do not get it with an automatic i repeat do not get it with an automatic your license will be restricted to only driving automatics which means if you one day all of a sudden decide to drive a stick shift let's say you don't know how right but you learn and you're like oh well i got my license with an automatic and now that i know stick shift let me go grab a stick shift and drive like that right you think it's gonna be easy but it's not the problem is your license is restricted now so if you decide to go from automatic to one day stick shift and you get pulled over guess what's gonna happen you're gonna get cited my boy cited because you can't do that you can't be certified with an automatic and assume that you're gonna be able to drive automatics and stick shift so that's one downside yeah a lot of people are getting them left and right because they're automatics who doesn't know how to drive automatics you know and they swear they're like hard because they have their cdl now you know automatic restricted and stuff but little do they know they can't they can't go with the big boys man they cannot do that they'll get cited and this is more this is definitely more power man smoother just a complete package the automatic ones they lag you change gear sometimes you change it so quick that it's telling you push on the brake and then put your gear and it's like dude you don't know how many seconds you're wasting just trying to go from reverse to forward just because this thing is like lagging it doesn't process it like real quick compared to this first second third four five and all like man I'm telling you guys man big difference like day and night big difference but this one you guys we're gonna have to back in it's gonna be a regular alley dock no blind side it's gonna be on my it's gonna be on my left side so 
Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know what? I came from the other side of the street. I was supposed to be on that side, coming this way. Then it was gonna be on my left side, which is that side, regular alley dock. But now I'm coming the other side. So that means I'm going back that way, which means it's gonna be on my right hand side, which means I'ma have to blindside you guys. See, where that truck pulled up? That's how I was supposed to come in. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this place. Yeah, I'm gonna have to alley dog my boy. It's right here, it's right here. You've been here, done this. I'm gonna leave you guys on my head, man. Just to see how that point of view looks. If it's cool, I don't know, I'll probably do it more often. Check your surroundings, guys. Check your surroundings. It's gonna be a quickie, so I'm not even gonna pull forward, none of that. It is what it is. We got it. Let's go check in, guys. Let's go check in. How's it going, man? Good, good, good. Keyboard? Yes. Yeah, five. Alright guys, we are done here. Last pallet I believe going in and that's it for this one. That's it. Yeah. Alright, here are your copies. Alright, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. All right, All right, guys, we are done here. On to the next. Guys, we are here. This is a place from last time. Well, for you guys, it was the same place from the previous video. So I don't think I'm going to put you guys on the door since it's going to be the same process. It's going to be a blind side. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. So.
we did here, same thing. It's just instead of backing up into the middle, I backed it up more to the right just to leave space for whoever wants to pull out or pull in. All right, guys, let's go get it. So yeah, guys, how's that quality? Does it look better with these brand new lens guards or same thing? I gotta, I gotta look back on the video. It should look better, cleaner, smoother, but I don't know. So last time I was right in the middle and I don't know if there's gonna be people trying to pull out or pull in. So I pretty much got closer to the fans. Let's go check in guys. Let's go check in, my boy. How's it going, bro? I have a pickup for pallets. Yes. It says Global Infinity. This, this is Global Infinity, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the only... Let me see. I might have a zip code. I have a zip code. Oh, I thought it was one warehouse. So it's yeah, divided. Yeah, it is, but it's just the way of... Because they have their customers and they mm. have his own process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, it's, it's different. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. It just makes it more complicated than it has to be. Yeah. Okay, I'll check right now. All right, bro. Thank you. Yeah I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just stick around. All right. But yeah, guys, this is one of those warehouses. I thought it was one company, just one. We got to wait and see and get loaded. Because I came Friday. I got loaded up with five skids, so it shouldn't be something new. No? Yeah. Yeah, it shows... Let me see. This is, this is it, right? Yeah. So it shows four, almost 4,000 pounds, and the zip code. Board. Yeah, I... No? So I guess they have nothing. So on to the wait. There's nothing left. This was my last pickup. I gotta call dispatch and let them know that John didn't have anything. Because John is sure that we don't have anything. All right, guys. I'll see what's up with dispatch and I'll keep you posted on what's next. Okay. Okay. We found it, my boy. We got to throw the freight, slap the stickers on them, and that'll be it. Oh, man, it's getting chilly, man. How cold is it? It feels low 60s, my boy. Oh, my location. Dun, dun, dun. See? Shh, I was close, my boy. Low 60s. That's high 50s. Damn, I was on point, my boy. Yeah. No? Yeah. 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 Ahí está. La compita, muchas gracias, eh. And that's it, guys. That is it. Man, it's chilly, my boy. 
All right, guys. I'm gonna go check in with uh, with dispatch, and I'll see you guys in a bit, man. Guys, I want to show you guys a little technique to shifting gears. Every gear, you're gonna hit 15,000 RPM. At 15,000 RPM, you're gonna do the two second rule, or what I like to do: pop it out from gear, wiggle the shifter, and then put it in. That's my two seconds instead of counting. But if you do it slower than two seconds, it's not gonna go in. Do it faster than two seconds, it's not gonna go in. Two seconds is a sweet spot. 15,000 when you pick up normal speed from a red light to a green, it's 15,000. You could do it at 10,000 RPM if you're creeping up to your destination and you're doing it super slow. You can still shift. It doesn't have to be exactly at 15,000. So if you're creeping up to your location and you're in first gear you could easily do it at 10,000 same process 10,000 do do two seconds do do and smooth do it slow or faster it's gonna grind I'll give you a little example how to do it like I'm not gonna say it, I'm just gonna do it because if I do it and say it I tend to do it slower than my actual intentions and then you guys are gonna be like oh it's not it's not working because I'm actually trying to show you guys I'm trying to be specific but I'm just gonna drive how I drive see how I'm doing it and those are my two seconds and I'm gonna do 15,000 got a yellow light but you saw me I went from I went from fourth to fifth. Popped it. One, two. So when it's on neutral, you could either slap it and then put it in, or do something in between when it's on neutral. Because if you go from four to five straight in like a normal car, it's not gonna it's not gonna go in. It's gonna grind. You have to do two seconds. So what I like to do is pop it out, go like this, and then ah, same thing with the next gear. Pop it up. Same thing. Pop it up, and then boom. Next gear. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, those are my two seconds. Do that, you learn that, you're gonna be shifting good. Trust me guys, trust me. with downshift is you gotta you gotta slap the gas you gotta feather the gas so the rpm can bump up over ten thousand and then that'll go in again boom 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 splinter up boom 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 oh uh -huh. Boom, 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 boom. Next one. Boom, 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 boom. But you know, you know what I mean, guys. There's always has to be something in between. slow like this boom
different ways of doing it guys there's different ways of doing it so you could either do it slow because i see a lot of drivers teaching their drivers going from from one to two like a regular car or to two to three like bah, like a regular car it's not it, it, it doesn't and if it goes in it's gonna it's gonna hop on you and that's not good for the transmission so you always gotta pop it boom wiggle it waste some time and then boom or just do it slow pop it out boom one two one two one two there's two ways distract your hand to count those two seconds one two or do it slow two seconds count in your mind or count out loud doesn't matter bah, one two one two like you don't have to play with it leave it on neutral for like a second and then go like two to three one two three four five six seven Alright guys, we're here. I already backed it up. I already put the landing gears down. We gotta take off the lines. And one thing that we have to do here compared to the newer trucks is... Oh, and by the way, guess what I have? Check this out. Check this out, you guys. Nice. Huh? Go that way? Exactly. Right. Let me go up somewhere. All right, then. All right. Oh, yeah, guys. Like I was telling you guys. Look at Damn. The only thing that I don't like about this one now, compared to the new ones, it's this. Now, with this one, you gotta reach in. The new ones, there's a little switch, you know? That's the only difference. That's the only different thing that the new one has that I kinda like, compared to this. But let's go check in, guys. Let's go check in. Check, check, check. See, this container has two. The one I showed you guys on the other video, check, locked, locked. The one on the other video only had two, one and two on the other side. This one has four, two on each side. Locked. Locked. Perfect. I already checked the tires. All right, guys. Let's go. And we're here, guys. We are at the same place from last time. So right now, we're going to drop this one 
this container go sign some bills a big ass stack and look for a trailer take it to the other terminal not the main one but the other terminal make some photocopies of the bills leave some copies there take some with you and head back to the main terminal and that's gonna be it guys So we're dropping this empty, this one, it might be empty. No, it's loaded. So this can be one of our bills. This is 043. Oh, and that one too, that one's, that one's loaded too. All right, let's go check in. I gotta take a pistol, I gotta take a leakyada. A little porta potty, let's go take a leak. Put my gloves here. Never use your hand, always use something to open this. Nobody. You saw everything, sir? Yeah. Uh, Give me a second. Alright. I'm gonna go put it over there. Get you the paper. Okay. Alright. You're, you're the person doing YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so I saw the GoPro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a GoPro, cuz. It's an action camera, cuz. Get the street calls. You let the view first and last. Anyways, guys, let's sign these bills. Get back at you when I'm done. The boy, this is the boy. <laughs> oh. No, 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 te corto la cabecita, güey. Ahí te, te, te pongo. Te... No, te voy a poner la cara del, del este, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, se me olvidó, güey. Pues que es esa chingadera, Lo había visto en los camiones para aceite, pero ya. Está curioso, ¿ah? Pero aquí en el pecho, güey. En el pechazo. Como que no, ¿ah? Mamadón. Sí, pero no. Mamadosation. Yo hasta pensé que eras como terapia o algo así que estás. Nah. Ya estás grande, para nada. Me volteé para allá como. Eh, está apagado, güey. Si estuviera prendido, estuviera la pantalla y te, te estuvieras mirando tú, güey. No creo. Y, y, y prende una lucecita aquí, tac. A ver, prendela. Quiero ver. ¿Y si atrás? No, güey. La pantalla está aquí, güey. Si, cuando está prendida, te miras tú, güey. O si no miras el, la, el foquito que está. Ch, ch, porque está, está, está no, grabando. Pero, pero explícame qué es esa madre, pues. Ah, nomás, güey. Cuando ando. Vas manejando y vas viendo pinche. Que por aquí pasa, mi amor. Y te ah, ándale. Pura, mujer, sí, porque es este. ¿Cómo se llama? Streaming Live. O sea, está todo en vivo. O sea, si lo prendo, va a decir mi vieja, ¿este güey quién es? Ay, este. ¿Sí me, ¿sí me entiendes? <risa> <risa> Ha, <laughs> ha,
Dale, pues, wey. All right, guys. So, what trailer did we get? 941. This one is nine. Wait, 491. This one is okay. 491. Yup, is this one? Let's go. Ah, oh, man, it's so cold, man. Where am I going? I thought I was driving this, but no, I'm driving a container, bro. Come on, snap out of it, bro. It's too high, my boy, it's too high. See that? So what I'm gonna do is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect the lines and the light, drop it or roll up the landing gear and then back up to it. guys we are good to go so right now what i'm gonna do is punch in the bills on the dyad and that's it head back to the other terminal make those copies head back to my main terminal and that's gonna be it all right guys so hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and hit the notification button my boy and i'll see you on the next one peace all right guys one more thing before i go remember those two lines that i was telling you about when doing swaps where with the old ones you were able to just put either the blue or the red and be able to move the trailer without connecting both of them the new tractors you have to put both of them this is the older one so this is what i mean i believe it's a red one though the emergency one you turn on the light Remember the other one, the new trucks? When I release the air, it'll start screeching right away. Now with this one, my boy. Check it out, check it out. One, I already pushed this one in. And, see what I mean? And now I'm able to move the trailer back and forth without connecting both of them just the emergency one see i know i wasn't crazy y'all i know i wasn't crazy my boy but yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys i'm already at the second terminal i did not back up this trailer i just dropped it in the yard so basically there's no need for me to record none of this that's why that's why i said goodbye to y'all so yeah i'm just dropping it here and bobtailing back and that's it i just wanted to show you guys this i knew i wasn't crazy
so it's, it's this one the emergency one so yeah whenever you guys do swaps landing gear lift it two inches you don't have to roll it up all the way because that's just a waste of time two inches just one line do your swap and that's it you know so whenever you drop the the landing gear or when you raise it raise it up two inches drop the bags drop the airbags when you pull forward that way it sits on the floor good that way when you back up to it you will pick it up and the landing gears will raise off the ground so make it less complicated you know that way you move it you get off unhook unhook and then back to the truck drop it and same thing with the other one a lot quicker because if you connect both lines and the light and roll up the landing gear all the way up and then do the same thing to the other trailer that's just wasting a lot of time but yeah guys so i'll let you guys go and i'll see you guys in the next video